Imagine this. You plug a tiny USB dongle into your laptop, smartphone, or tablet, and suddenly your wireless headphones perform like they belong in an audiophile rig. No more meh Bluetooth sound, no more annoying sync lag while gaming or watching video. That's the promise of the Sennheiser BTD 700. Today we're diving deep into what makes this minuscule adapter so powerful, how it works, how you get the most from it, how it stacks up against competitors, and whether it's truly worth the upgrade. Stick around, it might just change how you hear the world. The Sennheiser BTD 700 is a USB to Bluetooth transmitter dongle that lets you bypass your device's built-in Bluetooth and unlock higher quality wireless audio with lower latency. It supports Bluetooth 5.4, works with both USB-C and USB-A via the included adapter, supports advanced codecs like Aptek Adaptive, Aptek Lossless, and LC3, alongside standard SBC and AAC, and offers a dedicated game mode that drops latency to roughly 30 milliseconds. It also supports AuraCast broadcasting, allowing you to share one audio source across multiple headphones or speakers. Physically, it's tiny, just over two centimeters long and weighing about two grams, but the performance jump it delivers is anything but small. To understand why it matters, consider the two biggest frustrations in Bluetooth audio, codec limitations and latency. Most devices rely on basic codecs like SBC or AAC, which compress audio heavily and limit dynamic range. Even high-end laptops and smartphones may not support modern codecs like Aptek Adaptive or Lossless, meaning your premium headphones never reach their full potential. For example, Apple devices still lack native support for Aptek Adaptive and Lossless. The BTD700 fixes this by acting as an external high-performance transmitter that handles advanced codec processing, bypassing your device's weaker Bluetooth hardware. The result? Higher bit depth, better dynamic range, cleaner transients, and noticeably richer, more open sound. Subjective testing shows improvements of 20 to 30% and overall fidelity compared to using a device's built-in Bluetooth connection. Then there's latency, every gamer and video watcher's nemesis. Bluetooth often introduces a lag between sound and visuals, but the BTD700's game mode reduces that delay to roughly 30 milliseconds, essentially imperceptible. Whether you're watching movies, gaming, or editing content, that responsiveness makes a real difference. Another reason the BTD700 matters is its broad compatibility. It works seamlessly across Windows, Mac OS, Android, and even iOS devices with USB-C ports. Many older machines can't handle modern codec demands, so the BTD700 effectively brings them up to spec. Beyond better sound and faster response, it also future-proofs your setup with AuraCast. With this feature, you can broadcast audio to multiple compatible headphones or speakers simultaneously, ideal for group listening, classrooms, or shared entertainment. Using the BTD700 is refreshingly simple. Inside the box, you'll find the dongle, a USB-C to USB-A adapter, and a quick start manual. Plug the dongle into your device, then hold the button to enter pairing mode. Put your headphones into pairing mode and within seconds, they connect. Once paired, all audio routes through the dongle instead of your device's built-in Bluetooth. To get the most out of it, check your codec settings. Ensure Aptek Adaptive or Lossless is active. On Windows or Mac, you can verify codec use through Sennheiser's control app or LED color indicators on the dongle. Adjust your device's audio output settings to match your desired sample rate, ideally 24-bit, 96 kHz. If you're gaming or streaming, engage game mode via the dongle's button sequence to prioritize low latency. Want to share your audio? Enable AuraCast broadcast mode and connect multiple compatible headphones or speakers within range. Firmware updates, available through Sennheiser's site, periodically improve compatibility and performance. For best results, plug the dongle directly into a free USB port. Avoid hubs or recessed ports that might weaken signal range. Keep the path clear of metal obstructions and pair your headphones once for maximum stability. And remember, the dongle can't magically give your headphones new codec support. It can only unlock what they already have. In practice, reviewers have been impressed. Users describe the sound as cleaner, more detailed, and better staged. The bass feels tighter, the highs smoother, and the mid-range more transparent. The difference isn't placebo, it's the result of higher bit rates and more efficient signal encoding. Latency performance is also excellent. With game mode enabled, audio-video sync feels instantaneous. Cross-platform compatibility is strong, and setup takes under a minute. Of course, no device is perfect, 
The benefits depend entirely on your headphones. If they only support SBC or AAC, improvements will be marginal. Some systems may default to lower sample rates depending on software or OS settings, and iPhones, while compatible via USB-C, still face certain app-level limitations. Physically, the dongle's small size is convenient, but also easy to lose or accidentally bump into a crowded USB port. So, is it worth buying? You should absolutely consider the BTD700 if you own high-end wireless headphones with Aptek adaptive or lossless support and want to use them with devices that lack those codecs. It's also great for gamers and movie watchers who need perfect sync or anyone who wants to share audio with friends using Auracast. It's plug-and-play simplicity with a real sonic payoff. On the other hand, if your headphones only support basic codecs or you mostly listen wired, the benefits will be limited. Priced around $60, the BTD700 is a modest investment compared to replacing your headphones or buying a standalone DAC, and the improvement in fidelity and responsiveness is significant enough to justify it for serious listeners. Now let's talk competitors. Sennheiser's own previous model, the BTD600, is a direct predecessor. It's a USB-A dongle with Bluetooth 5.2 and support for Aptek and Aptek Adaptive, but it lacks Aptek Lossless, Auracast, and native USB-C. The BTD700 refines nearly every aspect, smaller body, higher Bluetooth margin, native USB-C support, and expanded codec options, making it the more future-proof choice. Outside Sennheiser's lineup, other brands are trying to capture this new wireless DAC space. Vio's BT11 is a strong competitor, supporting Aptek Adaptive, Aptek Lossless, and LDAC with Bluetooth 5.4. It delivers great performance and codec flexibility, but lacks AuraCast and doesn't offer a dedicated game mode. Its focus is pure audio quality rather than all-around utility. Avantry's C81 is another option aimed more at gamers with Aptek Adaptive and low latency performance, but it skips high-resolution codec support and multi-listener features. There's also Creative's BTW5, which supports Aptek Adaptive and LDAC with excellent latency performance, though again, no lossless or AuraCast. In this context, the Sennheiser BTD700 sits comfortably at the premium end of this niche. It's the most balanced package, combining cutting-edge codec support, minimal latency, AuraCast broadcasting, and cross-platform simplicity. While competitors may excel in one area, either offering better price or broader codec range, the BTD700 remains the most complete plug-and-play wireless upgrade on the market. Ultimately, the BTD700 isn't trying to replace wired DACs or studio gear. Its goal is practical, make wireless sound as close to wired as possible while staying simple and portable. It succeeds spectacularly at that. So if you're the kind of listener who values both quality and convenience, this tiny dongle might just be your favorite new upgrade. Wireless audio has come a long way, but most devices still hold you back. The Sennheiser BTD700 fills that gap, a tiny piece of tech with big potential. Plug it in, pair your gear, and listen to what you've been missing. Like and share this video and subscribe to the channel for more such deep dives into audio.